we're looking at the distillation of clove powder. So I have over here my conical flask with the distilled water. I have my brown clove powder in this conical flask. My distilled water and clove powder flask are connected by glass and rubber tubing. Remember that when I boil the water in this flask, steam will make its way through into this conical flask. The distillate as it leaves as vapors are going to enter my Liebig condenser. Now you remember my Liebig condenser is a water filled condenser that will have two envelopes, an outer envelope with water and an inner envelope through which my distillate is going to pass. I have two sets of rubber tubing. The black tubing at the bottom is my water in. That tubing is connected to my tap. The orange tubing at the top is the water out and that tubing you will see simply runs to my sink. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to turn on the water so that you can actually see the water filling the condenser. So as the condenser fills, you would have noticed some bubbles making their way up. We can see that this orange one is the water out, water is leaving and water would have entered this condenser and made their way through. And I'm just going to fiddle with this a bit. So you can see the bubbles as the water is making its way up. Now remember that the condenser is positioned on a, di on a diagonal so that the distillate leaves by gravity. I'm now going to start with my distillation by turning on the Bunsen burner, which is going to heat the water. And so we're going to get our distillation started. The water is going to boil. And as the water boils, we would expect steam, which is a colorless vapor and therefore we're not able to see it, is going to make its way through.